Chapter 11 Ratio and Proportion Ratio Vinay has 4 pens. Dinesh has 8 pens. 8 is equal to 2 into 4. Dinesh has twice the number of pens that Vinay has. We say that number of pens Vinay and Dinesh has are in the ratio 4 is to 8. 4 is to 8 is read as 4 is to 8. The symbol stands for is to. The ratio is like a fraction. A fraction has a numerator and a denominator. Likewise, a ratio has a first element and a second element. In the ratio 4 is to 8, 4 is the first element and 8 is the second element. Just as 4 by 8 is different from 8 by 4, 4 is to 8 is different from 8 is to 4. That is, the order of elements is important. Similarly, 4 by 8 can be reduced to its simplest form 4 is to 8 is equal to 1 is to 2. So also, a ratio can be reduced to its simplest form 4 is to 8 is equal to 1 is to 2. A fraction does not change if both its numerator and denominator are multiplied or divided by the same number. Thus, a ratio also does not change if both its elements are multiplied or divided by the same number. 4 is to 8 is equal to 1 is to 2 is equal to 14 is to 28 is equal to 16 is to 32. A ratio helps us to compare two quantities of the same kind. She has 3 rupees. He has 4 balls. We cannot make a ratio of the above because one quantity is in rupees and the other is number of balls. Mahesh has 3 rupees. Ramesh has 50 paise. If we want to compare the money Mahesh and Ramesh have, we have to specify them in the same unit. 3 rupees is equal to 300 paise. The ratio is therefore 300 is to 50 not 3 is to 50 or rupees 3 is to 50 paise. There is no unit mentioned in ratio. Example 1. Compare 6 kilograms and 4 kilograms and 500 grams. Solution 4 kg and 500 grams is equal to 4.5 kg. The ratio is 6 is to 4.5 or 12 is to 9. Multiply by 2 or 4 is to 3. Divide by common factor 3. If we convert both into grams, then the ratio is 6000 is to 4500 is equal to 60 is to 45 divided by 100 is equal to 4 is to 3 divided by 15. We find both the ratios are 1 and the same. Verbal Problem Example 2 Last year, 112 students were studied in a school. This year, 144 students are studying in that school. Compare the ratio of the students for the last year and this year. Solution 
number of students studied last year is equal to 112. Number of students studying this year is equal to 144. Ratio of the students for the last year and this year is equal to 112 is to 144 is equal to 7 is to 9. Do these 1. 1. Compare the given quantities in the form of a ratio. Representation To solve the following problems. Problem solving. Division in a ratio. Example 1. Divide. 7 kg and 500 grams in the ratio 2 is to 1. Solution 7 kg and 500 grams is equal to 7.5 kg. The total number of units is equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 units. The ratio can be written as 2 by 3 is to 1 by 3. The first part is equal to 7.5 into 2 by 3 kg is equal to 5 kilograms. The second part is equal to 7.5 into 1 by 3 kilograms is equal to 2.5 kilograms. Verification the ratio is 5 is to 2.5 is equal to 10 is to 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2 is to 1 divided by 5. It is the ratio given in the problem. Verbal Problems Example 2 There are 525 students in a school. If the boys and girls are in the ratio 5 is to 2, find the number of boys and girls. Solution If the number of boys is 5 and the number of girls is 2, the total is 7. The ratio can be written as 5 by 7 is to 2 by 7. Since there are 525 students, the number of boys is equal to 525 into 5 by 7 is equal to 375 boys. The number of girls is equal to 525 into 2 by 7 is equal to 150 girls. Example 3. A sum was divided between Raman and Rajan in the ratio 5 is to 4. If Raman gets rupees 65, what will Rajan get? Solution. The ratio is equal to 5 is to 4. Raman gets 5 parts is equal to rupees 65. One part is equal to rupees 65 divided by 5 is equal to rupees 13. Rajan gets 4 parts is equal to rupees 13 into 4 is equal to rupees 52. Verification Raman is to Rajan. 65 is to 52. 
is equal to 5 is to 4. Do these two. 1. Divide the given quantities in the ratios given. Problem solving. To solve the following problems. Problem solving. Proportion. If eight books cost rupees 80 what is the cost of 12 books one book cost is equal to rupees 80 divided by 8 is equal to rupees 10 12 books cost is equal to rupees 10 into 12 is equal to rupees 120 what is the ratio between the number of books it is 8 is to 2 or 2 is to 3. What is the ratio of their cost? It is 80 is to 120 or 20 is to 30 is equal to 2 is to 3. We find the number of books and their cost in the same ratio. 8 is to 12 is equal to 80 is to 120. This is written as 8 is to 12 is as 80 is to 120 and is read as 8 is to 12 is as 80 is to 120. That means the ratio between 8 and 12 is the same as the ratio between 80 and 120. This is called a proportion. Let us observe the following in proportion. 8 is to 12 is as 80 is to 120. Means, extremes. One, the first and the fourth terms of a proportion are called the extreme terms or simply extremes. 2. The second and the third terms of a proportion are called the middle terms or means. We also know that a ratio is a kind of fraction. We know when two fractions are equivalent, their cross ratios are equal. Example, 2 by 3 is equal to 4 by 6. 2 into 6 is equal to 4 into 3 is equal to 12. We find 2 and 6 are in the extremes of the proportion and 4 and 3 in the middle of the proportion. Let's see some more examples. Proportion Product of extremes Product of means 3 is to 5 is as 15 is to 25 3 into 25 is equal to 75 5 into 15 is equal to 75 2 is to 3 is as 8 is to 12 2 into 12 is equal to 24. 3 into 8 is equal to 24. 10 is to 15 is as 8 is to 12. 10 into 12 is equal to 120. 15 into 8 is equal to 120. From the above table, we find that the product of the extremes 
is equal to the product of the means. Now consider the following four numbers 3, 7, 24 and 110. Let us find 3 into 110 and 7 into 24. They are 330 and 168. They are not equal. Therefore, they are not in proportion. Example 1. Verify whether 4, 9, 16 and 36 are in proportion. Solution 4 into 36 is equal to 144. 9 into 16 is equal to 144. Therefore, they are in the proportion 4 is to 9 is as 16 is to 36. Example 2. Find the missing number in the proportion 3 is to 4 is as 24 is to how much? Solution. In the proportion 3 is to 4 is as 24 is to how much? Both means are known. Only one extreme is unknown. Product of means is equal to 4 into 24 is equal to 96. Product of extremes is equal to 3 into how much? 3 into how much is equal to 96? Is equal to 96 divided by 3 is equal to 32. Verification 3 is to 4 is as 24 is to 32. Product of extremes is equal to 3 into 32 is equal to 96. Product of means is equal to 4 into 24 is equal to 96. Do these 3. 1. Verify whether the following ratio form a proportion Reasoning proof. Two. Fill in the blanks in the following proportions. Reasoning proof. Three. 